Welcome to day one of week three of Spy vs. Spy. We're going to the grocery store right now and we're gonna get a jackfruit. <laughs> to nice <Nice> comparison. <laughs> Success. This is my little watermelon. Dude, this is the worst setup I've ever seen in my life. Not only is like the ankle bad, <laughs> but we also look bad. <laughs> look at my hair, dude. <laughs> Basically, like you have a target for whoever signed up for the game and you have to shoot them with the water gun before the round ends and the round's like Monday to Saturday. School grounds is like safe, so you, don't, you can't get shot during yeah. school hours on school grounds. Yeah. And also there's safety items. So like if you're carrying that week's safety item, then you even if you get shot, you're like safe. And for this week, it's like, whoever has the biggest fruit is safe. If Mia's my target and she's holding an apple and I'm carrying a watermelon, <laughs> I can shoot her. The first week it was water wings and goggles. I shot my person out. I also shot my person out. Mia shot a person out? At the airport. Second week it was safety vests and, and helmet. helmets. I shot my person out. I didn't. She didn't. Because basically to like get to the next round of Spy vs. Spy, you have to shoot your target and mm -hmm. also not get shot by whoever has you as their target. But we also have this rule where you can buy back into the game, but the price to buy back in gets more expensive every week. So this week it's 25 bucks. This is mine. I originally have a pineapple. It's a little bit skinny, so I think this is like- So we don't even spot. know how they're measuring like this Yeah, size. they didn't specify if it's based off of like volume, mass, length, length girth. <laughs> but me as- I go to jackfruit. Um, <laughs> Uh, like vegan people like use this as like chicken. There's a hair on my finger. This is Girl, that's a clump. That's not just a hair. That's a <laughs> head <laughs> full. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh, yeah. Hey. We're, we're going to tennis today. I'm exhausted and I want to skip class so bad. Welcome to chemistry. We're back. Hey. <laughs> We're doing a voltaic cell lab. Guess what's in my bag? Guess what's in Mia's bag? Warm. <laughs> hey now. Hey now. Look at this. Wow. Just wow. wow. Just wow. At 6.45, I got home at around five o'clock. I had track practice after school because I have a meet tomorrow. It was all right, like in terms of actual practicing, but like the vibe of the practice was just something else. I'll tell you that right now. My knee is injured also. It's been injured for the last like two weeks, but it's kind of one of those injuries that you can still do stuff on as long as it's like within your pain threshold. But then last week my knee flared up at a tennis match and I couldn't walk. So hopefully that doesn't happen again because I really don't need that to happen tomorrow. I'm gonna journal for like five minutes. My brain is so scattered right now. Like there are a million things on my mind right now. This will help. I'm home from track. Basically today was our zone. I was only running a four by one because of my stupid knee injury. We won first overall and we qualified for our provincials. Provincials is the biggest meet of the year. It's in two weeks. This is like the kind of culmination of everything. So I'm super excited that we qualified. Now I'm gonna do my physio exercises. Then I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna study for chem because I have a chem test tomorrow. Because basically we're retesting this unit that we did really bad on before our exam. This is my last test of the year and it hurts so bad trying to study right now. Good morning. Welcome to that 7 a.m. golden hour. I'm literally waiting a block away from my target's house right now. Fruit in hand, water gun loaded. I'm getting a really strong sense that she isn't gonna go to first block today, but this is like the route that she walks to school, so <laughs> I'll be able to get her on the way. Hopefully she'll come, but if not, I'm going to wait here during my spare. Yeah, today's the day, man. I need to get her today. <laughs> Physio. I already had a passport appointment this morning. My mom and I woke up at 7 a.m. So my passport expired, so I needed to get a new one. But now we're gonna go to physio for my knee. I'm gonna be baking some cookies because I'm filming my college to sit, like my decision reveal of where I'm going to school next year. 
and that video will be out by now. I'm making crumble cookies, copycat cookies. I made these in the summer and they were literally the best cookies I've ever made. I feel like most people do cupcakes for these videos, but I don't care. I also have no idea like where the rest of my family is. I was taking a nap, I woke up and I don't know really what happened to them. Let's preheat the oven first. Quarter cup of oil. I didn't say what kind of oil. I'm assuming like vegetable oil. I found grapeseed oil. Okay, I'm like genuinely dumb because I do not know like if this is a replacement for vegetable oil. Um, is grapeseed oil vegetable oil? Looking good so far. Oh God, oh my God, what was that? Literally, look how big that shell is. This is gonna have to be put on pause because I cannot find my vanilla extract. Basically, I'm going on a trip for um, my school tennis team. So we're going to provincials. We qualify for provincials. It's like a four day, three night long trip. I'm so excited. Like school trips are my favorite. We've never been able to travel for tennis before as long as I've been playing on the team. Literally the best possible way to end high school tennis. And I was supposed to go out with a couple of my friends to this after grad event for like another high school in my city, but I'm fully not going because I don't want to get COVID before my trip. Let's go to the grocery store and get some vanilla extract. So let's go get my bangs trimmed. I'm literally just trimming like these strands of hair. Here's what we're working with. And because I'm an existing client, it was free of charge to do this. So like, why wouldn't I do it? I'm here Kate. We're getting our lashes done. Here's before. First time, okay. I'm praying that I don't get an allergic reaction. We're getting half sets. Before. <laughs> lashes she did such a good job i was nervous going into it obviously because i've never gotten lashes before these are like prettiest lashes i've ever seen in my life but right now i'm going to get my eyebrows and my upper lip waxed i'm going to a different waxing salon today so i'm kind of nerve-wracking going to a new place let's go do that now i'm literally so scared i have to pee so bad Right now, I'm gonna get ready to go to brunch. I'm meeting with Sam in Sahara, and basically last night, I went to the night market with a bunch of my friends. Because the night market like just opened here, it was so busy. There were so many people like in the actual market that like we couldn't even walk around because it was literally like huge clumps of people like moving around like little ants. But I was able to get a strawberry Nutella deep fried bao bun thing. I mean, was it really expensive for literally just like a deep fried bun and some ice cream? Yeah. Other than that, it was fun. Like my friends and I, we haven't been able to all hang out in a group in forever just because we've been like so busy. Eyelash extensions are looking pretty saucy. Otherwise, today I'm going out for dinner and I'm watching Doctor Strange. And then I also need to pack for my trip because we're leaving in two days. You literally have no idea how excited I am for this trip. One day after I come back from that trip, I'm going on my outdoor education trip. Like every year my school, we have to do like a camping trip um, with the whole grade and then some of our teachers come, but they're usually like canoe trips or like hiking trips. I'm excited for this one. It's a whitewater rafting trip. That means that I need to pack for that because I get back from my tennis trip on Saturday and then I leave for my camping trip on Monday. Mm -hmm. 